you know, for myself, my daughter, his family, I think we just, it's an overwhelming sense of relief at this point. Even without the victim's body, a long-awaited arrest is made in a fatal hit-and-run case. It has been almost eight weeks since a hit-and-run driver sent construction worker Brady Ortego falling off the Hale Boggs Bridge. And while his body is still missing in the Mississippi River today, there was finally an arrest. Investigator Mike Perlstein has reported extensively on delays in an arrest, and he broke today's news. Tonight, Mike has an update. These eight weeks have felt like eight years. Ever since the driver of this mangled truck sent bridge worker Brady Ortego flying into the river, his widow Adele has been waiting for a phone call from the state police. You know, for myself, my daughter, his family, I think we just, it's an overwhelming sense of relief at this point. That call finally came Friday morning, and with it, the arrest of this man, 22-year-old Hunter Johnson. He was booked into the St. Charles Parish Jail on counts of vehicular homicide, hit and run, and obstruction of justice. I stood up and I was pacing, you know, in circles around my living room and just shocked. I went through a roller coaster of emotion. The arrest came after Johnson's name circulated extensively in the community. Channel 4 even found his wrecked pickup truck at his home in reserve. There's no doubt in my mind that the light that your station and the media shown on this case created a greater sense of urgency. State police said countless hours were spent gathering evidence, including digital forensics and video. WWL-TV legal analyst Kiva Landrum said the case is tricky because the victim's body has not been recovered and because the driver fled the scene. She said investigators must have developed some other evidence of impairment to make an arrest on the most serious charge, vehicular homicide. And so you have to prove that either they had a blood alcohol level of either 0.08% or higher, or they were under the influence of some type of drugs. While the evidence hasn't yet been revealed, Adele Ortego said she can finally begin a grieving process that had been put on hold. Mike Perlstein, Eyewitness News. Johnson was booked into the Coleman Correctional Center in St. Charles Parish. He'll be held there without bail until his first court appearance next week.